Hey, hey what's, what's up, up kings and queens? queens? It's Theo. And it's Say. Today we got a video from Pretty Boy Fredo. Um, he's gonna be living with the homeless for a week. It's gonna be our first time checking this video out. Um, we do realize it's, it's a touchy subject, and um, we just hoping that like, just like you know everybody else, well, we just hope that he will be sincere about this project. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. Anything you want to say before we go? No, I'm getting tired of this thing. I want to be like you, but I was before. You know, what a fuck. Get tired. I'm not very funny as you did. Sorry. Sorry. Anymore. I feel like he's not worth anything. I feel like he doesn't have anything. The man just has one goal. He just want to get back on his feet, man. I'm cracking. I'm hungry. I miss my family. It's only been four days. I miss my family. I can only imagine, like, not going or seeing my daughter or anything. Like, This is where it begins, guys, here in the streets. I'm gonna be taking on this journey of being homeless for an entire week. Efforts to raise money, the homeless man, Jose, that I helped in my last video. I'm gonna put myself in his real life situation. Although this is not exactly like his situation, I plan to learn from this experience, push my mind and my body to a whole new level. Day one, guys, as you can see, I got my cameraman with me. Are you ready? This is the most loyal cameraman. How many people would really go homeless? An entire week. It's gonna be interesting. It's like a lot of people don't get to experience on an everyday basis. I decided to start at our most vulnerable time. Like I feel like the hardest thing to do uh, yeah. at night, trying to find a place to sleep. And uh, this is about to be crazy, man. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is find Jose. I didn't let him know what we were doing because I wanted to be a surprise, you know? Hopefully we can see him, we can find him, y'all. First and foremost, guys, I want to give a big shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video and sending me a starter kit, you know what I'm saying, so I can get cleaned up after this long, great journey I have endured. Going to the store, shopping for razors, there's too many options. And you truly can't tell the difference between any of them. For a limited time, Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away past. their starter set to new members for only $5. This starter set features their executive razor and three trial size versions of their most I'm popular products. So he he really should. Your first box will receive their shave butter, body cleanser, and one white Charlie butt wipe. You will also receive their executive razor, which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, placement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. This offer is exclusively available at dollarshaveclub.com slash Fredo. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Fredo. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It takes something I hope we know what that had a little bad taste in my mouth experience. just from this part. I know it's hard Jose! to the right place, but you Jose! Still, I, I would have left this part out. Guys, as you can see, we're at spot where Jose typically would stay. And a lot is as scary as hell. Yeah. I don't know how he sleeps up here. Jose, we're looking for you, man. And hopefully in this week, we can't find him. Okay? Biggest thing right now, y'all, is trying to find a place to sleep. Homeless people, as you can see, they sleep. You know what I'm saying? Underneath bridges. I don't know where we're going to sleep tonight. We'll find that out. All right, guys, it's about like two o'clock in the morning right now. Um, decided to come to Lake Eola. Unfortunately, we didn't find Jose today, but I know by the end of this journey, the thing will all fall together. I actually have some really like interesting news to tell Jose. This is a grind, and I promise, you know what I'm saying? Get this done for Jose. This is day one. We're signing out, we're gonna try to catch some Z's. Let's get it. Hello? How you doing? Alright. Um, I was just walking down the street and uh, he recognized me. I was kind of wondering why I seen him, you know, like, not in school right now. You know that he's not in school right now? Yeah, he's supposed to be okay. When he got himself, he needed to get saying back up to my job. Well, I was just talking to him, you know, giving him a little bit of, of advice, you know, because uh, I don't know if he told you about his situation. I'm not going to say it for him. Have you, have you spoken to her about it? Yeah, he, he said that he was, you know, getting bullied up at the school and it was kind of encouraging him not to 
to want to go to school. Is there any way that I can help him, you know, get past this? Okay, all right, awesome. Here you go, I'll let you talk to him, okay? Where you going right now? Get something to eat? Let's go, we'll go get something to eat. You can't let nobody, like, stop you from going to school, even if it's bullies, man. You got to stand up. To this is an extremely, extremely sad story. The kid is being bullied, so he's skipping school, being in the streets. And I never thought that I would, you know, encounter something like this on my journey. Definitely want to help this kid as much as I can because nobody should ever be bullied enough to feel like they can't go to school. It's, it's very sad, so I'm trying to give him some great advice that can help him in the future. Come to school. I don't, I don't expect to see them, but when I see them, they come to me and start bullying me and stuff. Do you feel like it's the reason why they're bullying you? Just don't like me. Yeah. You're, you're a new kid at the school? How long have you been at this school for? About a good month. What have you been doing mm -hmm. in, in order to to avoid them? Leave school early. You've been leaving school early just to avoid the bullies. What time would you leave school? Around 12 o'clock. Now, the bullies is at school. And you just run away from school instead of, you know, facing the bullies. But you can't run forever, right? Oh, really? You know that, right? You gotta stand up for yourself. Because ultimately, you're hurting yourself by not going to school. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right now, they're at school, learning, getting their education. But where you at? You in the streets. This is where these streets gonna take you. This is where they gonna take you. Nowhere, man. You gotta stand up for yourself. What do you want to do when you get older? Firefighter? That's dope, man. I don't hear too many people say that. No, you know what firemen do now. They run into a fire head on. You gonna run? When they call you, they say, hold on. We got a fire right now going down. What you gonna do? You gonna run? I treat that, that bully situation the same thing. That's the fire. I gotta put it in you and believe in you that you can stop this bully. You feel me? It starts with you. No more skipping school. We're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and get to your first ed, buddy. Get that, buddy, all right? Let's get it. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, you can't, yeah, you you, you gotta stand up to him, man. Like, I hate him. Get it. Gotta get you at least three girls. Now, if you don't come home tomorrow with three girls, I'm gonna be mad at you now, for real. Do you know who Jose is? Where'd he go? You want to buy $10? All right, tell us where he is. We'll give you $10. There was an altercation here. Why he's not here? Oh, okay. 7-11 at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock right there. Yeah. Right there. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man. Thank you. Wow, guys. First meeting. Bro, so you got to pay me for the info. All right, guys. So it's been about like three hours since we've been waiting here at the gas station. As you can see, I am super tired. My body is kind of wearing down because I haven't been getting any sleep at all. And, uh... Wait, hold on. Oh, he's calling me right now. Is that you? Oh. What? Jose? Oh. What? <laughs> wow. No. Oh my God, dude. No way. How you doing? How you been? How you been? I've been, been all right. Girl. Been all right? Been out there. We've been looking for you. Yeah, he told, he told, he told you, right? We decided that we're going to live homeless for a week as well in order to raise money. For you, now, I'm hoping that you can help me I'll survive. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll out here, I'll survive. <laughs> out here in the streets. <laughs> yeah. Also have something a little special that I want to run by you as well. Uh -huh. But we'll talk about that later. Okay. All right, let's go, man. Where you're sleeping right now? You gotta sleep yeah. Blankets? No blankets. I guess we gotta get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> to watch the the video yeah. from yeah. what we made. Yeah. You can be at the top in the next day. You can be homeless. I don't see that. Sometimes I don't like to see it, you know, but you know, it fucked my mind, you know. Be the only that I lost my house and everything, my company, my wife, you know. Really, really, really want to help you, you know. Yeah. Like I want to change your life Man. forever. I admire your willingness to want to to work, get back where you want to be. Well, yes. You know, instead of just asking for a handout, asking for yeah. a way to better yourself so that you can better your situation. Yeah. It's enough, you know, recording for tonight. I get some rest, like, it's, it's gonna be a rough night. Yeah, All right, y'all, gang. Yeah. Number two, guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, got a little bit of sleep last night. Gonna start the morning extremely strong. Have some big responsibilities to take care of. You can see. 
Guess who's oh, going yeah. to school today? Guess who is going to school? And guess who's taking them to school? I made it my responsibility. Yeah, sure Take care of my day. dog right here. Make sure that you get to school. Are you ready for school today? Yeah. I really appreciate it because we've been trying to get so every time he's here, it's yeah. a out of control situation. But he won't speak up. Yeah. I know about it, but he has yeah, told me, actually, but I'm trying to go around it, but he spoke to me about it yesterday. Spark me to, you know, wanna see what's going on and you know understand what's going on. Because I wasn't focused, I didn't, I didn't have any goals, I didn't have my mind set on what I wanted to do. And ultimately through high school, where that led me? That led me to nowhere because I didn't have those things in place. You know, y'all have the opportunity now. Y'all are young forever to change. You know, it's never too late to change. I want to take advantage of now. I'm glad yeah, he spoke to the kids. Yeah, for real. All right, guys, so today we have thing. a full day of Jose's life. Big You're going to show shit, us yeah. exactly what Love you do. Shit. Being homeless, how it takes a physical toll, mental toll. Your life, you ready? Yeah. It's the first thing you do. Yeah. You ask for money. Yeah. You use a sign or what do you yeah, use? I use a cup. A cup. And why do you use a cup? Yeah, a cup. The cop, you know? Uh -huh. If a cop sees you using a sign, you can be arrested. Dang. I didn't know you're not getting anything. Can I put a dollar, that's it? That's it? That's it. So on average, how much would you you make? About $12? Yeah. So later you just save your money so that you can get something later on. Yeah, yeah, to drink. I go under the bridge and kill time. This has to be depressing. It's been two days. I'm missing my family a lot. It's my daughter, I miss my girlfriend. Not have your family, goals or anything like that. At this moment, achieve. It's tough, but I get to it, you know? I'm I'm so tired, man. I'm so hungry too. Like, can't express, you know, how hungry I am. Oh man! Somebody gonna get arrested? Yes, yes. This is why you don't have a sign. Get arrested! He's getting arrested. That's risky for a homeless person. Like, That's you crazy. need help. You try to beg for help, and it's a punishment. Yeah. That's like, sad, man. He's going away, guys. It's a real life arrest right now, going down, and he is off. Wow. This is so crazy. Wow. This is crazy. Being here. Yo, this is crazy, man. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't even know what to think. No one knows what it's like mm -hmm. to be hated. Yeah. To be created. Be the sad man. Be the bad man. How do you get money to buy beer and cigarettes? What do you mean? And don't ask. They see me filthy. And they assume that you need help, so they give you money. You decide to use that money to buy beer and cigarettes. Do you want to know the truth? I want to escape this planet. How you feeling today, man? I know bad, today. Yeah, I'm feeling bad. You know, I'm getting tired of this thing. I want to be like you, but I was before. You know, go to work. Get tired. You know? I'm very you know, you to bed. You know, I'm you know, too much stressing. You know, like this. You know? I just feel bad, man. I really feel bad. You know, Jose doesn't even want to be on this planet anymore. I feel like he's not worth anything. I feel like he doesn't have anything. The man just has one goal. He just want to get back on his feet, man. Today, I'm going to go ahead and tell Jose the news that I've been holding back and crashing. I'm hungry. I miss my family. It's only been four days. I miss my family. I can only imagine, like, not going or seeing my daughter anymore. Like, So, I'm gonna go ahead and tell, you know what I'm saying, Jose, the, the whole situation of everything that's going on. Remember I told you I had some, you know, really crazy news that I wanted to share with you. I didn't, I didn't want to tell you earlier because I feel like now is the right time to tell you. So, I got something I want to show you. I received a uh, very interesting email. Hey, you want to read it? What do you say? I can't understand this thing. You can't read? 
says, good evening, Fredo. As I was scrolling around YouTube, I came across your video of my uncle, Jose. It was such a blessing and a miracle to see that he is still alive due to the loss of contact family had. Please, if you have any information of where he exactly is. Her mom, you know, Miriam, you know Miriam? Yeah. That's your sister? Yeah. Says to call ASAP. We want the family back together. He says being able to fly him back would be such a miracle. We recently lost my aunt due to cancer. And he's the only one who has not received the news. Thank you for making this 2018 start up great. Damn, bro, I legit teared up. <laughs> Watch out. Give us yeah, space, man. damn. Oh man. Whoa, I hate bro. that I had to Hold on. <laughs> tell Jose that news, you know. Um, it's like a positive and a bad thing. Like it's a good thing that his family wanna reach out to him, but his sister just recently passed away from cancer and he didn't even know. He had no idea. All right, man? Yeah, man. Um I know that we were supposed to, you know, do a do a week out here, you know, but I feel like it's necessary that you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to go through this pain anymore, bro. How would you feel if if I booked you a flight today to go see, you know what I'm saying, your family again? I want to go, but I want, you know, my life to be, you know, to be together, you know. So you 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 don't want the plane ticket? I don't want it now, you know. I want my life together, you know. First, you know, you know, go to my kids and see them, yo. I got, you know, yeah, I got my own company, you know, the dead over there. God gives his, his toughest battles to the strongest soldiers, man. I feel like you're not giving up, you know? And, yeah. Jose, I feel this... I'm not giving up, man. Die. You can't give up, man. All right? You can't give up. Yeah. God is going to make a way for you. You just got to believe, Jose. I promise you, man. We're going to get you out these streets, man. God, you know, it's punishment for something, you know? You all right? Yeah, yeah, my right. You good, man. My brother, all right? Yeah. You're my brother, man, for real. Mm -hmm. Really, I truly want to, you know, finish this week, but I'm just watching this man uh, pain and suffer for what? For the entertainment of other people, man, this man deserves better, man. And uh, I'm going to make sure he get out the streets tonight. I'm going to make sure I take care of him, man. Nobody deserves to live like this, bro. Nobody deserves to feel like they want to give up on life. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this shit. I'm doing this shit for more. I'm done with this shit. I'm getting my mans off the street. I'm so sorry, guys, that I wasn't able to finish out the week. Truly couldn't stand another day just sitting there watching him struggle and suffer when I know that I have the power to change his life. I have officially started a GoFundMe called Hope for Jose that we can all donate to in efforts to raise enough money so that Jose can buy a truck, get lawn maintenance equipment so that he can start back his business and get back on his feet. I know that if we all come together, we can all make this happen for Jose. Please, everyone, and share this video on all your social media and take your time to donate. Go fund me for Jose. Let's change the world together. Oh, dang, that's it. Yeah, goodness. Hey, I, I don't even know the where tip. to start. Yeah, oh. for real. <clears throat> so much. Oh, um, so, what, you want to go first? Or? I don't even know. We could, we could just bounce off each other. Uh. Um... I, I was, know we're both like, I don't know. I was just, I don't know, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the bad out of the way. Yeah, I was uh, a little iffy at first when he uh, threw in his uh, ad, his, yeah, his advertisement shape. His, uh, yeah, that that was, I would say that's the only negative about this video that I found out of the whole video. It was yeah. like 17 minutes. I mean, even it's, though he could be raising it, you know, also giving some of the money or giving um uh say whatever the thing called to Jose as well yes. but at the same time it just don't it just don't um it, it just is, don't fit well in the video yeah that part didn't sit right with me and then I, I think also because like how long it was with but, the motivational music yeah but but, but you know we're gonna, we're gonna get off of that because yeah. this video has so much more good things about it that just one negative is that's I'm okay with that it's amazing um, <laughs> One thing I will say, I'm gonna salute Pretty Boy Free. Is it Fredo? Fredo. Fredo. <laughs> Fredo. Um, for for doing what he did, because a lot of people would not even think about it. Yeah, would not I'm try sorry. and um, you know be homeless for a week to, or or at least for a few days to experience what a lot of people in the world do experience. 
So kudos to him on that. And um, I do like the fact that he documented. I'm not. I kind. I was kind of iffy about him showing some of the people that were actually in the streets. But I know, like you know, you sometimes you gotta show stuff like that for people to really see what's going on in the world. And you know, I, I like the fact that he helped that young man that was going through bullying at his school. And you know, um, talk to students at the school. I'm hoping that they won't bully him anymore. And at the same time, they do bully him. That he'll stand up for himself and be strong. And you know, when it comes to um, Jose, that his whole situation really just breaks my heart because, you know, it's good that his family ended up seeing him on Pretty Boy uh, Fredo's. Is it Fredo? Yeah. Okay, Pretty Boy Fredo's channel. But it's sad that, you know, from that he found out that his sister passed away, and then you know he was trying to book him a flight, but he he doesn't want to see them yet. He doesn't want to see them how he is because. He probably feels like weak, and it's like, you know, being in a situation like that, I, I can only imagine how you feel, how defeated you feel, you know, not, no, one, not knowing where your next meal is going to come from, to the possibility that he could be arrested, and then the fact that, you know, people are going to judge you because they're going to see you walking around thinking like, oh, he was on drugs or something like that, and that might not even be the case. He might have just, you know, fell on his feet yeah. and hit an unfortunate situation that happens to the best of us. So it's good that this was portrayed. Um, I just hope that from this being shown that so many more people will start taking like more action to, to help out others that sometimes like, you know, you got to realize that somebody might look like they have it all together, but they don't. So it's like, you got to help anybody that's going through things and you know, that's one thing I hope to do in the near future, but this isn't about me. This is about that man. So yeah. it's like, you know, I hope that everybody does donate to the GoFundMe. That way he will be able to get a truck and he'll be able to start his lawn service. And that way, whenever he sees his family again, he'll be in the position that he wants to be in. So, you know, he won't feel like he might be taking advantage of his family members or taking advantage of Pretty Boy Fredo, which I mean, I don't think his family or him would see it that way. They would yeah. just be like, well, I'm helping him out because I know that the shoes on the other foot that and, he, he would help me. And they just want to probably, they just more like they want to see their brother, yeah. their uncle, their loved one. Yeah, they and, said they want the family back exactly. together. Like, you know, um, I just feel like um, it just made me want to help out people even more. Like, like say said earlier, you never know what anybody's going through, even if they look like they have it all together. Um, it's a sad situation. Um, taking it off from uh, Jose, but talking about the the other homeless guy with the um, mental with the mental issues or whatever who he was drinking. The one was drinking. Yeah. So he just wanted to escape. Yeah, and um. Like that's what I that's all that I always thought about like with being like with people being homeless and stuff like if they're drinking and stuff like I don't think it's like the fact that they're just like a drunk uh, or yeah, like alcoholic. alcoholic or a druggie or something it's the fact that they they're hurting so bad um it everybody that cope. yeah yeah every, they're hurting so bad every uh, they feel like everybody's hating them mm -hmm. it, it feels uh, animosity they feel you know people. Even though it's people like us, people like us that'll, uh, that'll help, that'll probably look and just say something or anything like that. There's all, always people, you always gotta remember, there's always people on the far side, on the other side, that just to be completely mean to a person or, you know, just because they're homeless, they feel like they can, they have power over them, so they'll try to throw food down and make them eat it off the ground. You know, just some stuff you wouldn't even believe that'll happen. You know, people yeah. actually do it. Yeah. And... Which is unfortunate. Yeah. I feel like if somebody has that type of mindset, I wouldn't want them around me to begin with anyway. Because it's like you're you're picking at somebody that's less fortunate and for what? Like you don't even know the next day they can end up being in that type of situation themselves and then 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 what? Exactly. So it's like, you know, I feel like it's hard for us not to judge others, but we need to stop judging others because we don't ever know what the circumstance is behind why somebody might end up in a situation like that. So it's like the best thing to do is just, if you see somebody and they look like they need help, help them. Yeah, just or spread love, man. Yeah, you, you it know. It ain't that hard. Yeah, so 
it is what it is. I, I really just hope that everybody will donate to his fund as well as just other organizations in general. Or if you know somebody that has like a nonprofit or a GoFundMe, help donate, help. Like even if it's just like small things, even if you might not have really like money to offer, just buying um, toiletries and stuff like that. Because I was, I was talking to my boss the other day and she pointed out like a fact and it was true. She was like, you know, how during Christmas time and during Thanksgiving, that's when a lot of people donate. You know, they, they volunteer, they help out. But after that, that's it. Yeah, you never think about it. Like, all through, like somebody's hungry all throughout the year, yeah. every day of the year. Right. And Some people, every three or four hours out the, year, every year out the day. Yeah, so it's like, you know, just doing something like that, just helping somebody will make so much a difference. I remember one time my sister, she did something like that, where she bought, like, several different toiletries and stuff like that and put it together and her her friends they went out and they helped people so it's like that's sweet too you know you just you just gotta do the smallest things you do can make a difference to somebody yeah. but i don't got anything to say before i start crying um yeah pretty boy fredo we really enjoyed this video um all i gotta say is man just keep doing the great work um oh yeah last thing i, I you said your piece on it i'm gonna say my piece um to the uh, young man that was getting um, bullied and stuff, don't worry about them, man. You know, man, just stay strong, be the young king that you are, stand up to them, do what you gotta do, stay in school, because at the end of the day, they're gonna see how much you've succeeded, how much you've grown, and you know what? They just gonna be assholes, they're gonna be little pussy bitches. So we'll see you guys later. Peace. Now, now it don't take a lot to make you rich. I'm addicted to a lot of crazy shit. But I feel like money is the best drug Sometimes hate can be the best luck <laughs> Wait, okay, I got I got up. Okay, I was just scared of you. I was scared, okay. I might have to dig my head right in here. You know that, right? Okay. You gotta turn your body up, though, baby. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay, you ready? Let's get it.